Okay. Goldfish. Okay. Oh, okay. Friendly. Okay, actually, yeah. Can I grab those two eels down there? Hey. I think I broke my wrist. Ow, dude, that hurt. What's going on ladies and gentlemen, Brenton here back with another video today. We made it to Kelly Farms. This is a crazy tropical fish place. They got eels, they got other crazy fish. We're gonna go have some fun, crack some jokes. You gotta have some real balls to do that. That was bad. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta take that part out. That's all I got. Enjoy the video. This place is where it's at. This place is where it's at. All right, let's see. Where is it at? Skip it. Goldfish. Hi, guys. Hey. Oh, my God. It's so fat. I love it. <laughs> see anything in here? There's no fish in there, so don't worry about any chemicals going in there, but I'm a little wet. <laughs> My hair day, done. Okay, so we are going to head inside. We're getting something special today. Eels, electric eels, I don't know, but I think, I definitely think they'd bite. So this should be, this should be fun. Oh, oh God, Chris, that's gas. We're always a little bit We're extra. We're always a little bit extra. <laughs> Come on, children. They're like little cattle. Yeah, we brought, the we brought the kids today. Okay, they don't have any light on these guys right now. Why? I don't know if I could turn on the light. So pretty much, we had just got done talking to the people at the front. This is one of the oldest fish stores in the state of Texas. But the thing is, is we can put these guys in the indoor pond because I'm gonna set up a tank in my room to keep these eels because they're freshwater and they're super sick. But in the meantime, we're gonna take these guys, put them in the indoor pond. They got lots of places to hang out, hide. We took the red tail out and gave it to a fish store, like almost in Fort Worth, where they're gonna hold it for us so it can get really big. So we just got some Oscars, some Plutko, stuff like that, but we're gonna put some eels in there as well. And it's going to be, it's gonna be dope. So let's get these things. Friendly. No. Actually, let's just do one of them. I think I just said one and then she said two. I don't I don't know. Okay. But they could bite you too. You have to be careful, okay? Alright, they do bite. Yeah, they're wanting to check out the people with that with the um the Oh man, yeah, that thing's Yeah, that has more flowers on it. Okay, Mr. Bag, can you bag this? They bite. Uh we already don't want to get bit by it today. We're too clumsy not to get bitten by one, so sick. So we have all right. And that's what they eat. Yeah, that's what that eel's gonna eat. It's gonna it's gonna munch on those, so, so we're good. Alright, then you throw it up, you get this in, and then you go, whoa, 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 all right, success. Yay, I won my order. Hi, kids. Okay, all right. Bye bye. All right. Oh, it's windy. Oh, there's children. But now we got our eel. We got our food for the eel and the other fish. Now we just gotta go put it in the pond. All right. We're home, we got everything. So you're probably wondering, if you heard me already, I said indoor pond. This thing's going in an indoor pond. Now, for right now, the indoor pond water is really low so it can't slither out. Also, we're gonna do the same thing we did with the salt water tank so the eel couldn't get out. Look what he's done. I mean, <laughs> like literally. You get a dog? Hey, you got some on your face, man. Come here. Oh, what's that? What? Oh, I don't know what that was. You... Ah! 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 Get a big piece of acrylic and lay it on top and put the light on top of that, cut it to the shape. That way it's flush on top and this guy also can't get out. And that's also kind of a good way to prevent evaporation, so let's get this guy in there. <laughs> Sand. <laughs> I think I brought that from Florida. So, oh yeah, by the way guys, I was just from Florida. If you didn't watch the videos with Paul, Nick, David, all that good 
Oh, all that good stuff, but. Dude, you just knocked a hole in my wall. It's a secret compartment. Oh. So first we're gonna get in these guys. These are rosy red minnows. Okay, I'm well known for rescuing fish. In this case scenario, these are strictly feeder fish to give to them. I'm sorry. I can't put it any other way. Get these guys in and same concept. We don't want to get this water into the actual pond. And that is all 40 of those minnows. Yeah, yeah let's just... Uh... Here, you wanna watch? Yeah. Oh, 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 Timmy! <laughs> All right. So that's the exact same thing that the eel's gonna eat. Oh! Now it is time to let this man's go on in. Okay. A little excessive, but hey. <laughs> Only got through one back so far. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let's not do that. We did not get through one. Oh god! Oh god, he's gonna bite me. He's gonna bite me. He's gonna bite me. Oh, there he is. Timmy, oh, it's Timmy. okay. It's okay. Can you put oh. Timmy in there before he jumps up and bites you on the face? All right, Timmy. Okay, buddy. All right. Okay. Today is your big death. Here goes to a new tank mate, Timmy. Oh. Oh, Timmy's sick. Oh, Timmy's gone. And we will officially never see Timmy again. Ever again. And you know where Timmy's probably gonna go? Into he's probably, he's probably gonna go in the filter box, which is actually okay. He can go in there, he can go around at the filter pads. It's not gonna hurt him, that's not a bad thing. He might go in there, uh, all back up in there in the bamboo, but yeah. There's the knife fish, checking him out. Get back, Charlie, get back. All jokes aside, it's super, super sick to be able to have a freshwater eel. I've had a saltwater eel. And now we're gonna place the Eastern Diamondback Rattlefish into the tank. By hand, actually. Grab him. Oh. Oh! <laughs> Look, he's like, I'm gonna attack a fish. Trust me, the salt water. Oh, I didn't even, you guys probably noticed this. Here's my tank. This is the fish room. This is Chris's house. If you guys don't know who Chris is, Chris is my manager. He's also a fellow YouTuber. Um, yeah, his channel is always linked in the description. But I come here to film a bunch of my stuff. This is where he always is filming his stuff. This is his rack of tanks. Say hello to the rack of tanks. But yeah, no, super sick. We got the eel. Like I said, we're gonna do a huge acrylic top. So pretty much what's gonna happen is we're gonna get a big piece of acrylic to lay on top of this. We're gonna cut it around the waterfall where it's flush against the entire rock. And then we're gonna set this light on top. That way it'll prevent evaporation, prevent that eel from escaping, although this water is really low. And that eel, I guarantee you, is not gonna come to the top of the water within the next hour before we get this acrylic top. So we are officially good to go. So back at my house, we've got all the betta fish. You guys haven't seen any of this. That's why I'm showing you it because I've been in Florida. Hey. And the turtle tank, it's a little dirty as you guys can see. But that's because the filter was actually running really slow. It got clogged up while I was gone, so I just fixed it. But the turtles, if I can find them, are straight chilling. Like they've been vibing it out. They've been doing their thing. Well guys, I'm back home. Hopefully y'all enjoyed today's video. If you've got to draw my channel, if you don't know who I am, my name is Brenton. I'm 16. I own a company called Fanatic Media. And we turned it in to a YouTube channel where we do crazy stuff. And it's about to get a lot more crazy, I kid you not. So with that being said, hopefully y'all enjoyed. If you have any videos, ideas, or suggestions, comment them down below. Follow all of my social media, Snapchat, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, obviously. So with that being said, hopefully y'all enjoyed. Cop some merch at the top link in the description. Send me some stuff in my PO box. I think I've gone over everything, and I will catch you guys next time on the next episode of Fanatic. Peace.